Hello everyone, it's Mojo Solo there. In this video, I will show you the steps you need to create this tone slash effect using Unity Engine's particle system. So if you want to get this, check the links in the description. So the first step is to use any image editing software and create a canvas of 1000 by 1000 pixels. Then add a black background and on another layer on top of it, use a white color and an ellipse tool to draw this kind of circles. Make sure you leave a little bit of space in between. Then with an ellipse select tool, remove this part of the circle. And using a soft airbrush tool, lightly paint over the texture. Then remove the dark background and export as a transparent PNG file. Then in Unity, create a new material and set the shader to particles standard only. Then change the rendering mode to fade and check two sided. Then set the albedo to the texture you just created. Choose a color and increase the intensity to about one. Then create an empty game object and under it create a particle system. Then set the duration to 1, the start lifetime to 0.3, the speed to 0 because it doesn't need to move, the size to 3, remove shape and change the emission rate to 0 with the burst count of 1. Then apply the slash material you just created and change the render alignment to local and then rotate it. Then add rotation over lifetime with a value of about 550. Then you can use any flash texture from Google. In Unity, duplicate the slash material and replace its texture by the flash texture. Then create a new particle system, set the duration to 1, the start delay to about 0.15, the lifetime to about 0.1, fade to 0 because it doesn't need to move. Then remove shape, set the emission rate to 0 with the burst count of 1. And add size over lifetime with this curve. Then assign the flash material. And then reposition it correctly and if you want you can increase the intensity. And this is what it looks like for now. Then create a new particle system for the sparks. Change the duration to 1, the start lifetime to 1, the speed to 5, the start size to 0.1 and set the gravity modifier to 1 because we need gravity. Then make sure the shape is cold, change its rotation and its radius. Then assign the same material you use for the flash. Then with color over lifetime, make a fade in fade out with the alpha. And then you just need to position it according to the player's sword. And this is the final result. So if you want to know how to use this correctly in your games and other projects, feel free to subscribe for when I post a video about that. Thanks for watching.